there's a lot of special places out there that are still not many people know about. You just got to go farther out to look for them, but they're there. I enjoy the outdoors, the, the serenity of being out here where very few people roam or go out. I didn't do too well in the city, so coming out here, back in the early days, they didn't pay you much for being a ski instructor. It was about 30 bucks a day or something, so you caught a lot of fish and you ate a lot of fish. My name is Scott Flint, and I'm a fly fishing guide and have been the lead guide down here out of the trout fitter. Been there for a couple of decades. Some of the fisheries around here, they're supposed to be very technical and difficult to fish, so it really gets to test your skills if you think you're up there and think you're in the game. fish have to eat all day, every day. There's a lot of times where you don't have any food up on the surface, any bugs flying around due to wind or weather or just maybe the hatch isn't happening. The best way to figure out how to make a fly selection and see what's readily available to those fish is picking up several of those rocks and match them appropriately to a selection out of your fly box in size, shape, and colors. Pretty much about the most important part of the game. Things change constantly, the water, the bugs, the temperatures. There's just a lot of variables out there. And the constant pursuit of just, no matter how good you get, there's always something better to learn or get better at. After 35 years of doing it, I love it still, but just wake up every morning like a kid in a candy store ready to go. 